Hello and welcome to Secure Code Warrior. In this module, we'll be looking at insufficient anti-automation. We will explain what the vulnerability is, its causes and preventions, and some potential hazards. So, what is insufficient anti-automation? This vulnerability occurs when parts of the application, such as login forms, polls or comment forms, can be triggered using automated scripting techniques. What causes insufficient anti-automation? The vulnerability is caused by a lack of checks to determine whether actions are being executed by a human user. Without these checks, the application cannot make a distinction between a user-induced request or a scripted request. To understand insufficient anti-automation vulnerabilities, let's look at some examples. Let's say a website contains some functionality that is only visible for authenticated users. An attacker launches a brute force attack in an attempt to discover valid username slash password combinations. Because the application does not implement an account lockout mechanism, the attacker can keep trying passwords for any account name until one is successful. Then the attacker is able to crack a user's credentials and can log in as that user. In another scenario, a web application allows users to post messages in a forum. To avoid spam posted by automated bots, the application uses a capture mechanism. The captures consist of characters displayed in images. The implementation, however, can be bypassed because of the simplicity of the images. Using image analysis techniques, the words can be passed from the images. The forum gets spammed by bots, leading to frustrated users and possibly also phishing attacks. Insufficient anti-automation can have significant impacts. Brute force techniques could be used by automated scanners to try password guessing, resulting in compromised accounts. Hackers could write bots, repeat the same action for a number of times, such as registering new users or submitting spam in forums. This could cause reputational damage and user frustration. Online voting could also be rigged by automated scripts, causing fraudulent results. To prevent insufficient anti-automation, actions that are vulnerable to automation attacks should use techniques to verify human interaction such as captures. Capture could be a distorted text inside an image, a mathematical calculation, audio question or a logic puzzle. Additionally, the number of consecutive requests from the same source could be limited to avoid brute forcing, or alternatively, use account lockout. Congratulations, you have now completed this module, Insufficient Anti-Automation.